I finally have a sewing room and with a sewing room I am ready to make as many clothes as possible. anything new for myself for such a long time and I really wanted to know what's out there what's new you know what's everybody making and I thought okay let's go on and have a look through the sodirect.com website if you are new to the channel I say a big hello to you you're most definitely welcome to this channel and I hope you stay around I'll share the fabrics that I have in mind for each sewing pattern just as inspiration and I might end up making a garment using the fabrics that I select. I'll leave the link to all the sewing patterns that I'm going to speak about in this video and I hope you grab yourself a bargain. The first sewing pattern that I have has got to be this sewing pattern. Okay so check this out. This is a pattern that I really see myself wearing. It's a blouse or a top that I really do see myself wearing. It's actually it says easy which is a good thing. Um, M8145 is um, that's the name of the pattern pattern and I like the sleeve options. I also like that I can make this using knit fabric. I'll have to dig through my knit stash to see if I have any fabric that will suit the sewing pattern well. Um, I am in love with the sewing pattern and I cannot wait to dig into this one. It goes all the way from size 6 to 24 uh, but then I believe that there are more than um, size 24 patterns on the website for a lot of the sewing patterns. So just check out and explore and you find what works for you. From one blouse to the other, I have another blouse here and this blouse, I, I find I, fi I find the model to look so sassy and I just want to look like her. I just need her energy. This pattern I would definitely be making in white fabric as well as other fabrics. I see myself wearing this in African wax as well and um, to a party. <laughs> so um, she, she just gives so much like really, really cool energy and I can't wait to have a sewing pack. I can't wait to have a top like this. I'm just staring at it. I'm, I'm in love and uh, I definitely want her energy. <laughs> but this is different to the other pattern because it, it's supposed to be made using woven fabric, so no stretch. It says here charmeuse, crepes, um, chalice or lawn fabric. I hope I've said those, those correctly. It goes all the way from size 8 to size 32W. Um, this is just absolutely fantastic. We have another sewing pattern. And guess what? It's another top. It's a blouse. And um, this blouse here, definitely, definitely my vibe. This is a very popular one because I've seen quite a few um, lovely ladies on Instagram make one for themselves. And actually, can I just say, in order to whittle down all the sewing patterns I had in my in, in my online basket, I, I had a look on each sewing patterns hashtag just to see what other people had made using theirs. Um, I know, I, I mean, you know, we've got beautiful models wearing each one, but when I had a look at, you know, the, the hashtag to see what people that I was kind of familiar with had made with, with their sewing pattern, it kind of gave me that encouragement to say, okay, yeah, you can make yours and you can wear yours. I know it's a funny thing, but that's the way my brain works. So this one has like a scallop hem and I like the, I like her sleeve option. There are many other sleeve options um, with this um, blouse. It says to use cotton blends, gingham, linen, sateen. I have some sateen fabric, but I don't think my sateen fabric is going to be as much. Anyway, what I'll do is I'll check it to see if it works. I might even mix and match and have a different color sleeve. But um, I, I picture myself wearing mine, my black and white sateen fabric made into this blouse worn with my corduroy trousers. I've got corduroy trousers that have um, you know, like a wide leg pant kind of corduroy that type of one yeah I won't wear mine with um, skinny jeans it will go with um, like wide leg trousers yeah that's the vibe we're going for yeah 
Next, I have this gorgeous, gorgeous dress. And when I actually looked online, I thought this was made using woven fabric. Um, I didn't read as I didn't read the fabric recommendations. This one requires two way stretch knits, which means that um, I need to dig deep into my fabric stash or have a look online to see if I would find any fabrics that would go nicely with it. When I look at this dress here, I definitely picture myself wearing mine in a, you know, like a block color and not and no prints. I don't want prints for this. Definitely going to be block. It might even be black or brown. I might make mine in just something. Yeah, just a plain color. Definitely. Another McCall's. Okay, I'll say I'll tell you the reason why I go for McCall's. And most of the McCall's are things that have like bodices. McCall's um, sewing patterns, um, you know, the bodice part of their patterns go really well with my body type. Um, I don't have to do a lot of work to make them work for me, which is the reason why you would see that I have quite a few McCall McCall's. I've tried all the other sewing patterns and these ones are my perfect fit, which is the reason why I have more McCall's patterns than all the others. Um, I have the 81 five four pattern this is a jumpsuit but then i really like the dress version i just like the you know the the top section of it i don't have anything similar to this and actually it's not a dress it's a, a jumpsuit but really wide leg jumpsuit but i will make mine into a dress eventually i like it i really like it really really like it yeah m8154 and this can be made using twill crepe dr denim or cotton blends and i think this would also work with linen fabric so i yeah really like it we're going to have a look at this vogue pattern now i like i like this pattern because i first saw it on this lady called um the fashionable therapist on instagram and she made hers and it looked so beautiful hers was made in brown fabric if i'm right or not might be anyway um, and this here i have matching fabric to this and i like how hers was styled using matching boots and i want to make one for myself also um v me and vogue patterns like the bodice of vogue patterns on me my short tor torso um, requires quite a bit of work i i spent quite a lot of time adapting the last vogue pattern that I'm, i'll show you here's my stash got quite a lot of um <laughs> vogue mccall simplicity and the rest of them and i actually have two of these like I have two of them and um, I think I butchered one of them when I was doing my adaptations so I had to get another one. It's been a long time I worked on that sewing pattern but I had to do a lot of work which is the reason why when I saw this one here which doesn't require for any um, adaptations to be made to the bodice I had to jump on it and I will be making mine using matching fabric like this one here. It might be a bit lighter but um, it looks like this. Um, from one Vogue dress to another Vogue dress. I have this Vogue dress pattern. I've had my eye on this dress for a very long time um, and it's a V1723 pattern. It's an easy one as well and it looks like a pattern that only has quite a few pieces apart from the neck portion but I'm excited to make this. It has a very interesting back as well. I think you can just tie the, it's got ties that goes at like the collar ties up at the back which is quite um fun yeah it's a loose fitting dress um lined pullover stand up collar extending into ties in the back yeah definitely because i had a look at the model the model photos on the website this can be made using crepe back satin rayon chalice silk twill georgette but it's unsuitable for obvious diagonals but i'm sure you can play around with stripes to make it work and i have a jumpsuit and this jumpsuit here is quite a loose fitting one which means that i don't have to do a lot of work to the bodice the running theme here is 
ease right we're going for ease <laughs> we're going for ease and we're going for um, no stress <laughs> soft life I want to you know have a go at using my sewing space to see how it works and just have a nice smooth and sailing sewing experience for now after this I can dig right into like really hard work pattern making from scratch doing my own thing but for now I thought let's just you know work with what other people have made so we have this um vogue pattern here it's a it's a designer original and i just love this i like the shape i like the shape and i know i'm not making this yet um it will be left till like spring summer next year but it's a loose fitting jumpsuit and it has a contrast binding um the sleeves like kimono sleeve style uh, waistband with ties side seam pockets and a flared leg with hem facings exciting this one would definitely go with lightweight fabric i really enjoyed having a look through the sewing patterns on the website and selecting the patterns that would work for me my body type my situation my circumstances my soft sewing life at the moment so i thought um i'll share them with you and i'll leave the link to each sewing pattern in the description box below so you can have a look to see which works for you and which you think would be um, ideal for your next sewing project there's a buttermilk sewing pattern say going on and as I speak to you it's still on also on sewdirect.com they have, have over 40 patterns and um, that are oversized 32 in their plus section and they have accessibility focused patterns called simplicity adaptive so a huge thank you to sew direct for gifting me these sewing patterns and an even bigger thank you to you for watching this video I hope the fabric suggestions that I have on the screen are useful to you just so you can see how I would interpret each sewing pattern and I also would do a fabric haul coming up next after this video I hope you enjoy that video and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day everyone all the very best take care bye even when they feel happy I'm proud of every part of me